Hello YouTube Vintage Tube Rail Restorers. Here's the Philco Model 75 Hippo pretty much together and working. Thanks for your time. No problem. Thanks for having me. Simon Bacon is a behavioral medicine professor at Concordia. Ooh, another expert. This really pulls in the stations. It's amazing. Probably the best AM2 radio I've had in a long time. And that's the difference between a 6 tube and a 5 tube. You know, one of the, the things that's so frustrating. And the reason I say that is uh, where I live here, right across the street from me are hydro towers. And then behind us are hydro towers. And there's LED lighting all over the place and fluorescence. And this seems to cut through it all. It's just amazing. It has a nice looking dial, backlit. I'm just going to spin it around. Now, I didn't repaint this one completely. I did some touch up on it. Gave it a really good polishing with new finish. And here's a look inside a new nightlight bulb. Um, it's almost all original tubes. Four of the six are originals. The Philco Locktails are all original. But the. Um, 35Z5 and the 50L6 are General Electric and they may have been General Electric right from the beginning as possible. Uh, one thing about this radio, the antenna wiring was completely wrong. There's two windings within this antenna coil. One is the main antenna winding which goes between that lug there and chassis ground and the other one is a secondary winding which goes between this terminal which is the external antenna jack and uh, ground again. So it uses induction so basically the antenna itself is an antenna coil as well. One of those things about Philco designs they're pretty ingenious at little money saving tricks but it's a great running radio. I'm just going to show you the parts I put in here. I just spill them out. Look at that. Oh my gosh. All these wax caps. That's what held the filter capacitor in. Um, the, it had one of these gimmick caps in it, um, basically between B- minus and the floating ground, um, a ch chassis ground, whatever you want to call it. It's basically a .005 cap inside a little ductor coil, and the thing had been like, you know, it was a mess. It was actually tested open, the coil itself, so I looked to see what cap was in it, because on the schematic it doesn't really say. And then I thought about what this actually does, and I put in a 0 0.01 capacitor to replace the whole works, and it works great. Right now, it's actually on. Not a trace of hum from the electromagnetic speaker. Of course, there's, you know, the regular static you get. Very smooth tuning. Now, but if... Once that day comes that even those more basic things happen. She walked along beaches and enjoyed a guided ur. Snapping pics of gold. That's probably the strongest local AM station is talk radio. So there it is. I'm going to put the back on. The back is actually in the other room and it was kind of warped. It's the kind that has the four spring clips. So I'm going to have to steam it with the tea kettle and strain it out a bit. Then put the back on and it's ready to go. New polarized AC cord. Thanks for watching and listening.